Wanna go to your grandma house? I should go to grandma house. Why? Like you aggravating. You aggravating. I'm telling you, I've been telling you all day. Man, girl, whatever. Shit. I'll be tired of your ass when you when this shit come around. I'm gonna clear. really but just kicking the bobo I am actually one week down and a lifetime to go as vegan well technically it's pescatarian because I got some my favorite Olive Garden salad dressing I had just bought a bunch of that and they're open I got some ranch dressing I got some shit <laughs> some of my ranch dressing um, that I'm just not finna get rid of. Um, now when it's gone, it's gone. But I haven't eaten any eggs. I haven't eaten any um, meat or seafood. So people that's vegan, they gonna be like, oh, that ain't technically vegan. So technically it's pescatarian. Um, it has been very easy. <sighs> my husband calling me, hold on y'all. Anyway, y'all, my husband interrupted my phone call. Me twice. And I believe that I was talking about... I don't <laughs> But I was on my way to the grocery store. I am actually looking for a vegan creamer. Um, I've tried several of them. I tried just doing almond milk. Um, that was nasty. It's just the consistency is thin. I bought these other ones, but I like a thick, creamy coffee. So I, Starbucks has a non-dairy creamer that is always out of stock. And somebody told me that they had it at the Winn-Dixie. So I left to go run over there. They did not have it. Didn't even have a space for it. So they didn't even sell it there. Um, yeah, it, was, it hasn't been hard to you know, transfer over to vegan or switch to vegan. It really hasn't hasn't been hard at all. It's been an easy transition, but the only thing I'm struggling with is making my coffee taste good. So, yeah, so I'm going to make me an acai bowl. Uh, I ran out of strawberries, I think, so I think it's going to be missing strawberries, but I'll see what I got in this refrigerator. All right, y'all, so this is the acai that I'm going to use. I've actually been using this for a while anyway. All right, so I put a little bit of the uh, acai in the bowl. I don't eat a lot, so I'm not gonna make it too big. Gonna put a little bit of unsweetened coconut. granola almond from Whole Foods. It is the best, y'all. Like, the best. So I'm getting ready to go to this uh, vegan fest, I guess that's what it's called. 
like a different a bunch of different restaurants and stuff like that out there so it's a good way to learn uh, about vegan restaurants that's in my area and just try different stuff I'm putting on a sweatsuit so I ain't really trying to get you know too razzled up Team DMS so yeah I am back waiting on my slow behind son to come on I told his ass that I was leaving my house at 3 at 3 he comes walking in the house at 3.05 got a vase and all that So, that's vegan now. Vegan? Yeah. So, what's that? What's the cake one for you? is a Funfetti sugar cookie stuffed with cake. They're $5 each, or we got the sampler pack, which is one of each, and you get to pick one of the cookies that you get two of, and it's $20. So, it's six of them. I'm going to just give it a one. Just the one? Different, uh, maybe that's what. Oh, maybe that's what the vendors sold. So this was not what we thought it was. We thought it was like a festival, but there is a veg festival going on. So we finna head over there because, honey, it wasn't nothing really going on over there. They had two vendors. One of them had some good-looking chicken sandwiches, but. They were soy, uh, trying not to really do a lot of soy. So, yeah, on to the next. All right. You gotta try it. You gotta taste it. We're going where all the food trucks are because we fat and we want real food. So <laughs> we're about to see what everybody got. <clears throat> all type of stuff. Huh? This is uh, for you too. <laughs> right. <laughs> she getting there. So tomorrow's meatless Monday, yeah, so. so we gonna have enough food for like the rest of the week. Right. So I'll do the guac. I'm gonna have to eat the guac now, though. Well, yeah. Oh yeah. She um getting her second. <laughs> seconds. I say you get seconds. For now and later. I'm gonna show y'all what I got. First, I gotta sanitize my hands. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all what I got. I got some vegan macaroni and cheese. Me Um. It's not bad, but if you looking for like. It's not bad. It's not, it's not, it's different, but cause it's vegan. So you can't expect it to taste just like um, macaroni and cheese. I got some guacamole from my favorite guacamole place, Guacago. Favorite, favorite, favorite guacamole. And I make guacamole at home all the time, but I don't know, it's something about this.
Very good. And I got some vegan empanadas. This one was barbecue jackfruit. I tasted it. It was really good. But they're a little too light skinned for me. So I'm going to take these home and put it back in the um, air fryer. And then I have a beef and a... I forgot. It say BB on here, but what the fuck? Barbecue jackfruit. Beef. I don't know. Tell y'all what else I got. Cause mama got enough food for a couple of days. Okay. Cause I know I'm not eating enough food because after I eat I like still feel hungry. So this is the now they tried me with these fries. Um the vegan Philly cheesesteak. I'm gonna try this right here. Cause girl. And they make their own meat like out of mushrooms and stuff like that. So it's not none of that um impossible stuff mm. Mm. that's really good now Troy I got him oh they gave him a chicken sandwich Okay, so I gave him the crazy chicken. What well, this is not what I asked for. But he gonna eat that bitch. So I'm finna put these empanadas back in the air fryer because honey, they too white for me. I don't like no light skin food. Yeah. like the vegan empanada. Y'all see my one lash. <laughs> COVID, so it's just like I found the uh, almond oat milk Starbucks macchiato creamer at another Target. I did a pickup. I just got a notification that it was ready. I ordered two because it's so hard to find. They never have it in stock. People always just buy it up. So I'm headed to Target looking like this. I may put my lash back on, but looking like this. Um, and I'm going to get my coffee creamer. I'm really excited. I know it's not something that I'll be eating long term because the ingredients it does have some ingredients on there that's not extremely well I don't even know if they're healthy it's like I guess chemicals I don't know. It ain't it ain't just cream and, and oat milk and flavoring definitely uh, uh, but uh, I am new to this whole vegan thing and well, I think it's it's a lot easier when you have realistic expectations. You set real goals for yourself. Um, and then exactly knowing why you're doing what you're doing. I know why I'm doing it because I have a terrible digestive problems. Um, 
And I just don't want to look like my aunties and uncles and grandma and them. They're not healthy. Uh, they're not. Um, my dad died when, in his 40s. My uncle died last year. He was maybe in his early 60s. My grandma has glaucoma. She's 98, but she has not had great health in a long time. That starts back to what you eat. You know, everything, every problem you develop um, is usually snow by the way you eat. My dad had heart problems. He was a cigarette smoker. My other aunt is diabetic. She's had a heart attack. It's just a lot. Uh, it's it's. I don't I don't want to be like that. Um, I don't want to live. You know, I be I'm old, so okay. I live to see um, eighty or ninety, but it wasn't a quality life. You know, and I just can't imagine myself being like that. And truth is, the illnesses and stuff that we have or develop, it's not genetics. What's genetics is your eating habits. <laughs> so um, I've never eaten like pig, beef, pork, sauce, all that kind of like, I never ate that. Chitlins, like fuck no. I've never ate that kind of stuff. So um, my problem was always sweets, ho-hos, ding-dongs, cake pies, and I was a meat eater. Uh, dairy, I love cheese. I'm never really, I haven't really drank since I've been in this house. Well, we ain't gonna say in this house because we've been only here not even a year, but I'll say since I've been with my husband, they were drinking whole milk. Now, I can say that I migrated them to 2% milk, but I just can't get them on to the almond milk. And I hadn't bought regular milk in years, uh, years. So that's never been a problem for me, um, the whole milk. It was definitely the meat and the cheese. And the meat really isn't a problem. I think my biggest problem or the hardest thing that is going to be for me is the coffee that I'm having right now. I don't like the way the coffee tastes with the creamer. We'll, we'll see how it goes when I go get this from Starbucks. <laughs> Excuse me. And cheese. Vegan cheese ain't cheese. Like... <laughs> It'll do, but it's not cheap. But I know that over time, my taste buds will change and the things that I used to eat, I, you know, so it's a process. So I say that to say, just have realistic expectations. I still have, like I said before, I still have some things that aren't technically vegan. I just, I found out Worcestershire sauce isn't vegan. Uh, it contains fish. I had no idea. <laughs> So, uh, you know, things like that. Okay. I'm going to use my Worcestershire sauce. I'm not going to go out and buy stuff. Now, I have been buying things that I don't have, but I'm not going to buy something that I already have because it's technically not vegan. Now, I did get vegetable broth and some vegetable stock. Uh, the thick, I don't know, bouillon, I guess it's called. The cream gel type whatever I did get that because it wasn't that much but to just be like okay I'm throwing out all my salad dressings and all of my you know stuff like that I'm not I'm not gonna do it like <laughs> we did a lot of stockpiling for um groceries just because of all the things that's going on in the stores are out of everything so I'm not gonna do that but definitely making a change is better than no change at all <laughs> Let me go get my coffee cream. I am pulling up to my destination. It's really good.
Now, I wish I would have had some black salt because the black salt would have gave that egg flavor. Since it's vegan, we're not using eggs. But this is good. If y'all want to see me make this, let me know. This is really good. Me twice. Mm. So I'm gonna go let my cleaning lady in. Well, out. She has finished cleaning up. Let her in. I guess I'll do some orders while I'm there. My assistant has COVID, so. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So I'm about to try this non-dairy cream up right now. And then I also made the family, because I'm sure Troy gonna eat it too. Um, we're making some Chinese chicken so this has been marinating for like two hours oh that ain't ready okay i'm gonna let that grease get a little bit more hot and i'll be back no i'm gonna make my coffee so it is thick it's not thin so i do like to warm my uh creamer up before i put put it in my look I do like to warm my creamer up before I make my coffee so that the cold creamer doesn't make my coffee cold. So let me check this grease again. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the recipe says to cook the chicken for five minutes. Let it uh, sit and then turn the grease down and fry it for an additional three to five minutes. So that's what we gonna do. And say not too close together. I can get one more in there. All right, y'all. I'm gonna take my coffee. Get it all mixed up, please. Please don't let me let this go. Now I ain't gotta cheat no more because I was cheating and still using my other cream because <laughs> Well, I ain't gonna say was well, cheating. I cheated today and then like a couple days ago I mixed it and it, it still wasn't the same, but this is delicious. So I'll be back when this chicken gets done. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and roll me a blunt. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, we got these draining on the rack. They are not done. I only cooked them for three minutes. Put some more grease in the pan. Uh, let the grease sit for like 10 minutes. And then put, I think it said turn the thing down a little bit, the grease down a little bit. And then we put the chicken back in, and it's gonna be extra crunchy. Now, it definitely smells like Chinese food chicken. Chinese chicken food, however you see it. <laughs> it definitely smells like it. And tomorrow is our Taco Tuesday, so I am making taco meat from walnuts. I cannot wait to try this. So that's gonna be good, hopefully. 
if y'all want to see that video um, or y'all want me to record it, let me know in the comments and I'll get that for you. Oh shit, y'all. My bad. Me twice. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. Y'all, this little eyelash over here just, yes. he just keep on acting up. This is the same one I put on earlier. Whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. Uh, I told y'all I will be doing more vlogs for the new year and going forth. If I can remember to vlog when I'm out places. But um, <laughs> y'all let me know if y'all want to see um, some more of like what I eat in a day as a vegan or, you know, whatever. I got some more videos and get ready to edit and I'll have some stuff up as well. And I'll see you guys again for the next video.